Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a spaghetti bolognese recipe. I've actually got quite a few different recipes for this because um, it's like one of my favourite things to make. Anything that's like slow cooked and really rich and beefy, I'm, yeah, yum. So um, this, I didn't want it to be too simple but not too complicated and I still want it to be really rich and tasty. So I've come up with like an in-between recipe um, I hope you guys enjoy it, so please make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go! So guys, remember to check the link in the description box below for all the quantities and everything in this recipe. Firstly, we're going to go ahead and get the onion, the carrots and the celery, and we're going to chop this up into little pieces. Um, this combination of veg is used for like a lot of dishes for the base of it. It's actually French. I don't think I'm saying this properly, but it's called a, a mirepoix. Is that right? I don't know. But you want to get your oil in the pan and you want to put these in and you want to saute it on a really, really low heat. You don't want to caramelize it. You just want to do it until the onions go like translucent. So a few minutes um, on a low heat. I also add my salt to this as well. Again, it's really important to season your food in layers, so you don't just stick a whole bunch of salt in at the end, you season each and every layer. We're then gonna go ahead and take the casing off of our sausages. Now you can use pancetta for this, you can use bacon, and I'm aware a lot of my followers don't eat pork, so you can just ditch this entirely, or you can use um, like the turkey bacon that you get, um, that will probably work fine as well. But this recipe I am using Italian sausage meat, so just take the casing off and then I take out my minced beef as well and I just shred it just because it makes it a little bit easier once you stick it in the pan and it's a little less lumpy. So I'm just going to go ahead and la la la, mincy mincy, get it all nice and separated and then we're going to go ahead and add the sausage to um, our veggies. We are going to now put the heat onto roughly about a med medium sort of heat, you don't want it too high. We're going to separate the sausage meat and start to fry this off and then we are going to add the beef. Now this is a really important step and some people tend to not do this for long enough and then that's when you get really big chunks of meat in your, in your bolognese. We don't want that, we want the grains of meat to separate into small, small, small pieces so that it makes like a really super thick sauce. Can you see these big lumps? You don't want that, that's too big. So I've been frying it now, you have to be patient, this is probably the longest step. So I've been frying it on a medium heat for roughly around 20 minutes until the meat is nicely browned and caramelized and all of the pieces are in almost like little grains, that's what you want it, you want it to be sort of grainy and not big lumps of meat. Then I'm going to go ahead and add in the garlic and we're going to fry this out a little bit. Add some salt again because again, seasoning in layers. I seasoned the first layer of the veg. I'm now going to go ahead and add a little bit of salt to season the second layer. Then going to go ahead in and put your nutmeg in. I've also put a tiny bit of cayenne pepper as well just because I love it. And then I'm going to give this a good little stir. Another quick little tip, whenever you add any spices to anything, always, always make sure you fry it out first. If you don't allow it to fry out for a bit, you just get a really powdery taste in your food, which is not what you want. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and add the tomato puree to the saucepan. This is very similar in the sense that you also need to fry this out as well, otherwise you get a, um, a bit of a funny taste. So I'm going to fry it out. Firstly, in the corner of the pan, and then I'm going to mix it in with all the beef and then keep frying it. Um, I suggest frying it for like three minutes or so. That should be about enough. Two to three minutes. Again, this is all on a medium heat. Please don't freak out at this step, and please, please trust me. You are going to need anchovies that you're going to chop up into little pieces. This, by no means whatsoever, makes your food taste fishy at all. What the anchovies do is they bring out the, the beefy flavour in the beef. So all it will do is enhance the flavours of your beef and make it richer and lovelier. So add this in and give it a stir. Again, I double, triple promise you won't taste anything fishy in your spag bowl. Give this a nice stir. And if you can see at the bottom of the pan, everything started to caramelise. So all the meat, the veggies, everything that you've put in, um, 
is starting to stick at the bottom of the pan. See those like little black bits? So we're now going to deglaze this by adding wine. Now to deglaze something, it's basically adding water and then what that does, water or any sort of liquid, then what that does, all the brown little sticky bits that are stuck to the bottom, it lifts it from the bottom of the saucepan and it basically adds it into your food. So you get the nice, lovely, caramel, gooey amazingness in your food. Then I'm going to go ahead and add my rosemary and my bay leaves and my oregano. Oh, also a quick thing guys, if you don't wanna use red wine, you don't have to. I know some of you um, don't like to have alcohol in there. It's fine because when you cook with alcohol, it cooks all of the alcohol out, so you're just getting the taste of the red wine. Um, please don't use cooking wine and just use any normal wine, doesn't matter if it's three pound a bottle, 20 pounds a bottle, it's all pretty much the same. I wouldn't recommend using a good expensive wine because you'll, you'll just waste it. Um, then I'm going to go and add the beef stock into this and put the lid on and let the baby cook. And as you can see here, it's been cooking for roughly about 40 minutes now. You can see it's all reduced and it's just really thick and beautiful. And look at that, oh God, oh my God. Oh, that was me tasting it. <laughs> So this has now been cooking all in all for about an hour. The longer you leave it um, to slow cook, the better. You can always add more water to this if you feel like it's just a little bit too thick. Um, if you feel like there's too much water, again, stick the lid on and just allow it to cook even more and the flavors will concentrate even more and get even richer and more lovely. There you have it guys, really rich, not too difficult and really tasty bolognese. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this is me literally about to stuff my face with it. I don't know if you can see, but the bolognese is actually like a really dark brown color instead of being bright red. I hate going into restaurants ordering a bolognese and they put down a plate of meat and tin tomato that's bright red. It's not how it should look. It should look nice, deep and really, really rich. The longer you fry the beef, um, the richer and browner and more caramelized it gets, the browner your sauce will be. Also remember guys, constantly taste your food. Always be tasting and adjusting your seasoning. And yeah, enjoy. I really hope you enjoyed this video guys. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up, um, get in the comments as usual, and I will see you on the next recipe, which is going to be the chicken wings. Love you guys, bye.